everyone, it's Christy here. I was just in Bogo City running some errands and uh, it's 2.20 in the afternoon and I'm stuck here with the road construction. Gotta be patient. We've had this for about six months now maybe. It started in August. August, September, October, November, December, January, yeah. So it's a pain, but can't we do? It's a pretty late civilization here. It's pretty amazing that it's already 2021 and this this place has not been really paved. But finally it is. And it's pretty slow. And it's taking a long time. But I'm sure it will be will be great when it's done. So Anyways, stuck in traffic and traffic with the road construction. So that's that. So we're just doing this by hand. gonna take like 30 minutes. I've been sitting here for 10 minutes already. These guys have to move that pad under. Hi guys, it's Christy here and I have some tools to clip and some pliers to clip some wires in the clippers for plants. So I am in my garden and my flower garden and they're getting really bushy. So I'm going to start pulling them so it doesn't get too crowded in here and I have some space to, to walk around. As you can see, they're growing fast. It is amazing. And it's been it's been rainy, so I still got stuffy nose, honestly speaking. Like this has been with me for a long time. Part of it is I'm a little bit stressed with Tom and I, so that's that. Anyways, um, I'm going to clip some of the bougainvilleas because they are just getting so bushy. So I'm going to start right here and this is what I'm going to do for the afternoon. I ran some errands this morning and I'm back and this is what I'm going to do. Hi guys, so I just got done with um, trimming my bougainvilleas. It was very thorny actually, so now I am in our living room. I just wanted to close my video with a message. Our lives, it's always going to be beautiful, no matter what. Um, we will have problems, we will have issues that we face. Um, we are always presented with the unknown of the future. And so, people, us, me, including me, we, we all have tendencies to, to fear, to worry. And I just want to, to tell everybody that to worry and to fear, those are normal emotions. But please, please, do not make worry and fear a, what I call this, a normal you can worry and fear but don't make it a normal that means don't be a regular warrior or don't worry regularly don't fear regularly so a fear 
feeling or worry can pop into our heads once in a while, but don't sit on it. As soon as you start worrying about, shoot, I have so much debts to pay. I don't know where I am going to get the next tuition for my child. I don't know where I'm gonna get the money for groceries. I mean, I mean, we all do feel that way. But please do not spend so much time sitting, thinking about those things. Instead, when you find yourself sitting, you can think about worry, you can think about fear, but don't let it consume your hours of the day. That is very important. Um, I battle with it, honestly speaking. I battle with it. Fear of my marriage, um, fear of our finances, um, it's normal. Uh, fear of the pandemic, um, fear of how are the kids gonna turn out as parents? But I have a regular routine that I strictly follow every day. I listen to affirmations, affirmations which are, I am grateful, I am blessed, I am alive, I am healthy, I can think right and wrong, I can be giving and kind, I can be gracious, and I can always always be respectful to all of the living creatures out there in the world and and then i also do my journal in my journal i write all of the desires that i have in my heart that i want to manifest into my life and i also i also don't write any negative emotions in my journal i don't ever i don't like it I don't like putting negative emotions in my journal at all. It's always everything that is, is positive. That way I don't have to think negative and positive when I'm writing my journal. I just have to stay on the positive side of side of things. So that's that. That's um, my message to you this afternoon. So do not worry or fear regularly. You can fear and worry, but don't let it consume the hours of your day, the days of your week and the weeks of your months and the months of your year. Thank you so much for watching. Coach Christier saying, live your best life. Create a life that you truly deserve, that you find passion in life, that you find true joy, and go get it. Like, don't fear about what's gonna happen. Just go create it, because you deserve so much. We all deserve happiness. We all deserve true love. We all deserve all the beautiful things out there in the world. And this beautiful universe is always going to give it to you as long as you're open to it. Well, I'm so a little bit sick, but um, I'm keeping a positive attitude. I've had a rough two weeks because of Tom and I. We had some marriage marital issues that we had to to battle but um, hopefully we're gonna get over it and hopefully we're gonna get back on track and uh, just be peaceful and loving to each other because we all tumble down I'm not gonna be afraid to tell the world that I'm going through such issues because we all do and this is a test of our character of how we're going to prevail of how we're going to handle and respond to things Thank you guys so much for always following my videos and please sign in, sign up in YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again. Goodbye.